again we're just continuing our operating point analysis tutorial video and here we're going to look at a slightly more complicated circuit which has more than one node and more than one resistor and we're going to investigate um, how you find the voltage across a component which neither end is at ground so you'll see here again we have node 1 and node 2 lab labeled we have uh, two resistors are both one kilo ohm and again a 5 volt supply so we'll run our operating point analysis just to pull up some numbers here. And you'll see that the current is going in the same direction through the source and both the resistors. And now we have voltages at our nodes, which will come in handy when we're trying to figure out what is the voltage across R1. So we go to view, we pull up our spice net list again, and uh, we'll just look at the breakdown here. So for resistor 2, which is R2 right here, says from ground to node 2 has a value of a thousand so we know we're going from ground B to node 2 because going from ground A to node 2 you'd have these other two components in here and that's just not what's going on um, so from 0 ground B to node 2 is a value of a thousand and from node 2 to node 1 has a value of a thousand so node 2 across here to node 1 has a value of a thousand and for V1, it is node 1 to 0, has a value of 5 volts. And this all makes sense because, according to our op point, all the currents are going in the same direction, which is this way around the circuit. If you imagine A and B are connected at the bottom. So now we'll reverse the direction of uh, one of our components and see what happens. We'll pick up R1 here, use Control r to flip it around, drop it back in the circuit, run our op point, and we should see that R1 has a positive direction now. And indeed, the current through R1 has a positive direction. So we'll pull up our netlist, go to view, spice netlist, and we'll look at R1, which says from node 1 to node 2, we have a value of 1,000. So node 1 to node 2 is a value of 1,000. And V1 is still node 1 to ground. Um, R2 is still ground B to node 2. So we notice right away that basically R1 has current flowing this way around the circuit, but R2 and the source voltage is going this way around the circuit. So that again agrees with our operating point, that they're in the opposite direction. Um, so now to figure out uh, what is a component value um, when it is neither is it ground, we'll just pull up our operating point again. And just to avoid confusion, I'll put the resistor back in the original way. So we pull up our operating point, and what this tells us is that the voltage at node 1, which is here, has a value of 5 volts, and the voltage at node 2 is 2.5. So somewhere in between node 1 and node 2, the uh, circuit has experienced a voltage drop of 2.5 volts. We get that because it's 5, subtract 2.5. I mean, it's a little bit confusing because node 2 is at 2.5 already, but it could have been at 1, and the drop would have been 4 volts, for instance, across there. But in this case, it's just a 2.5 um, voltage drop, and uh, that's how you get the voltage drop across a component when neither end is at ground.